Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Backpack Hero Run. And today we're gonna actually go with whatever happens, happens, man. We're back. We're, we're, we're done with the mods. Uh, I mean, we're not done with the mods. We're done with the new items and new stuff that get added to the game. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go with this. Now, there is a good chance, okay... There is a good chance that they uh, will add the new character today. Today meaning Monday, if, if I upload this on Monday. But uh, I'm saying this because if that is the case, if they add the new character, well, uh, I'm not able to showcase it because as you see, I'm doing this run right now. <laughs> and uh, you know, it takes me a while. But uh, if it happens, I don't know, maybe I will upload a second... Uh Maybe I'm gonna upload a second video of the same game today. I, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Right now, there is no plan. But uh, I have read that there is a chance that they're gonna go for a new character today. So uh, today, meaning today for you guys, not for me. <laughs> I'm um, I'm I'm still just one day back or two days back, depending on when I upload this. Anyway, let's. Uh, I want to kill the Muscat Brigade first. This is not a good fight to be in. Forget this. Let's go. Bye bye. Bye bye. I don't want to deal with that. Let's go damage. Let's go frothy drink. Let's go. What is this? Effects remove effects. No, let's go with damage. Even more damage. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, I'm thinking about trying maybe a. I don't know. I don't know what I could try. I could try a. Um, what is it called? I could try a good old. A good old. What is it called? Man, wh why? My, my mind is full on stack sometimes, man. Full on stacks. And I don't even remember what I want to do. Okay, um, uh, my shadow, my shadow, my shadow build is what I want to do. But now I got a golden cleaver, so uh, uh, we are getting mixed up here a bit. Or maybe it's not gonna be my shadow build. Let's see what we get. No, let's. Uh, is, do I have money? Nine coinage. Let's go get our max life and let's go on with our lives. Here you go. It is needed, and off we go to the next room. Now I have uh, requested some questions about a bunch of different things, and the consensus, at least most of the people, do agree that if I end a run, if I run, if I end, um, and uh, yeah, if I do a successful run and enter infinite mode, I should actually try to gain. Uh, not try to like. I should use mods to just get the god build. That's what people have been saying. People have been saying. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. I, I should have used this, but it doesn't matter. So if if I do the run, the, if I do this run and it's a success run, I'm gonna use the um, as I said the mods to just get the perfect build going, so that I showcase you know the build how it would be in its final form if I was lucky enough to gain anything. Now if I lose the run, ooh, what is this? And also what is this? Jagged blade. You know what? I can do a jagged blade run. It has been. Long time since the last time I did Jagged Blade run. Let's do this. So this thing does 9 damage and on kill deals 8 to everybody. I just realized this is not the weapon I thought it was. So... Do I have more room? I do have more room. Throw away this. It's so... Wait a minute. 7 damage. 9 damage. Okay, this is useless. Uh, <laughs> I completely use this. Let's do this. Okay, this gives us 3 HP. Uh, once per fight. This is a new red hoodie I have never used. On take damage, adds 3 HP, and the item is disabled for the rest of combat. So, the first time I get hit, I get the boost, otherwise not. Ooh, yes. Uh, I'm gonna come back here with food. I'm coming, man. It's a cleaver run. It's a cleaver run. It's a cleaver run. Uh, I would say let's block, block. This guy is gonna get destroyed by spikes. And block one more time, I don't need to get hit. He's doing 21. Yep. Okay, now he's doing 11, so I can do only shield once. And smacky smacky, and he takes another 7, 7, 14. Okay, what is this? Whetstone, the normal one, plus 3 damage on this roll column. It's good with a jack, it's, it's good with a jack blade, but... Eh, because if I use it 3 times, it's gonna give plus 9 damage to the jack blade, and then it will also give it to the hatchet. Wait a minute, this is a good item. I'm thinking about taking it. Let's take it. Uh, is it, wait a minute. Weapon in this roll column, get, ooh, this is actually really good with the cleaver too. Let's go here. Let's also do this. <laughs> We're gonna get hit here for a lot. It's okay. It's okay. We found another cleaver. Thank you, game. And uh, also we found the food. Ah, throw away the lucky ring. I mean, I do want the lucky ring. Throw away the lucky ring. Give me food. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There's a cleaver run. Yes, we got a queen. Perfect. A queen is what we wanted. 
So we go the following. Hatchet stays. Jagged Blaze goes. So we go here. Here. This hits. No. Here. And here. Is this Roar Column? Roar Column. Ooh, this is insane. Perfect. Uh, I can even keep the Jagged Blade though. Yeah, I can keep the Jagged Blade. As long as I pull these. Pull these where though? Pull these where? <laughs> Uh, I guess down, left. Ha! Reorganized Master. As if I haven't played this game before. Oh yeah. Let's go. So this is buffing most of these. Yep, everything's nice and dandy. So now this provides us with a block? Yes, it does. Ooh, but it gets disabled after it, it's used, so... It doesn't actually provide us with a block. Okay, we press this. Then we press this. And this, and we take a bunch of damage because I'm stupid. Oh yeah, let's go. I did it on purpose because I wanted to gain the red hoodie buff. This. Um, this is not a good idea in general. Ooh, this is a good idea though. Kaboom, and no shield. Okay, I still got hit because I'm stupid, but whatever. You survive? No, you don't. Why? Okay, we found a diamond, which is really good. Uh, I guess we throw away the boots. Three block. I will continue scaling that. Yeah, I guess we go with this. I guess we go with this. The build is all over the place, man. <laughs> the build is all over the place. If on the left glove, that is good. I can take it just here. I guess, yeah, it's, it's giving us two block. It is what it is. Uh, also, seasoning. Uh, it's rare. I thought this was uncommon. Well, it's rare now. Should I go for seasoning to start healing? I think I should. You know what? Throw away the jack blade. This is guaranteed a cleaver build. This is gonna be a cleaver build no matter what. Okay, I decided so. I decided so and so it shall be. So now I can have everything. Uh, two block here. Two block here are very nice. No change. Anyway, let's go. So let's have the body down here, this here, in case I get the curse, I put it in that corner. Let's see what we find. Okay. <laughs> we found something. Alright. Uh, sell this. For 10. Yeah, most likely that's gonna happen. <laughs> most likely I'm gonna sell that for 10. Let's go fight the Sable fight. This shouldn't be that hard. Use this. And our shield. Is he doing anything? Nope. Smack. Pass. I should have also used the hatchet. That's five damage. Hop, boom, done. Nice. Oh yes, that's money. Should have used this for health, but now it's too late. Uh, yeah, it's too late anyway. Let's go buy the cleaver. Here you go. Give me the cleaver. Twenty. Yeah, that's kidney numbers. Uh, I'm gonna swap these. Also these. Also this. Okay, so if I use this, it's gonna hit the queen, and then the queen is gonna hit the rest. Otherwise, I can make the queen hit. No, I think I'm going to use the king to hit the queen, and the king is also going to hit the gold. Actually, this seems to be doing... Ah, you know... Hmm... I have this here. What gets used the most? I, uh, the golden cleaver gets used the most. Well, whatever. Let's just go with what we have. How much mine do you have? Six for the fish. No. Before going for a healer for 25 heal. Okay, this sh should be a one shot. I mean, I have no idea. You hold it. It is a one shot. Okay, very nice. <laughs> the cleaver power. Here you go. Boom. Dead. Cleaver power. Here. Dead. Nice. Ooh, we found a machado. I mean, machado is definitely better than the hatchet. So, hatchet, you're gone. Machado, you join. Key needed? Key needed not. Key needed not. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a bit drowsy. Uh, sound the hatchet, I guess. We're gonna go away from here anyway. I could buy here a health potion. Anyway, let's go on. Uh, okay, so also people have been telling me to, instead of rerolling the boss fights, just get the relic you want. Hawk Knight? Oh, we're gonna die. Yep. This looks like death to me. Um, let's first try the version where I just go all in aggressive. And then we're gonna try the version where I play very defensive. 
Okay, all in aggressive seems to work. Ooh, yes. Perfect curse. Very nice. Okay, give me the, the shield thing. Three spaces first. I guess these. Shield, please. Okay, I didn't get the shield, but I did get the windmill. Uh, well, regardless, I'm going to roll this and get the shield thing. So normally I would just re-roll a bunch of times, but now I can just uh, pick whatever I want to. So I'm just going to pick whatever I want to. And um, yeah, you can disagree on this on the comment. A relic, what is it called? I guess shield. Yeah. So the good thing with this is that it happens on its own. Now, once again, there is a link in the description below for the modding Discord community. But the specific one, this specific thing... Um, so the, the the spawning items is not open for everybody. So uh, j just so you know, j just it's just so that it's clear to everybody that you do not have access to this. So this is gonna hit the king cleaver, etc., etc. And let's go. And next item I'm gonna get is the windmill, and then after that I don't even know, man. After that it doesn't even matter. This is a cleaver build anyway. Like cleaver builds are the god builds of this game. So I don't see us somehow losing in any way, case, shape, form. I don't even know what. Sift, you picking up specific relics is cheating. Yeah, okay. I mean, you can decide what it is on your own. It's it's your decision. But uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I was rerolling anyway. And if anything, I enjoy just picking up whatever I want. Let's go here one. I'm gonna go vrop dead, vrop dead. Oh, alive. I guess alive it is. I guess alive it is. My shadow ended. Nice. And we found food, although useless. Actually, most of these things are useless. I need to find a shop. Yep, there is a shop. Let's go to the shop so that I sell the stupid ring that I got. The rare one, this thing. Okay, this is not a fight I want to deal with. So, we're gonna go shield. 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 My shadow. Very nice. Buy. 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 Nice. Clean. Still victory. Let's go shopping. Yep, you take this. Another redstone that doesn't even stack and is useless to get twice. Let's go. I'm kidding, obviously. Shield, shield, shield. Yeah, I only need to press shield, 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 man. That's that's the power of the fever build. I don't need to do anything else. Was there a negative sound effect? I think there was a negative sound effect. I can also build up the god cleaver build. Now that I'm using whatever I decide to use, I can easily build up healing, by the way. You know what? After we beat this, I mean, we already said that I'm going to start using... After, after I get, uh, I mean, this is very unlucky. Lucky and unlucky at the same time. Lucky because, let's throw this away, get the money. Uh, lucky because we got the cleaver build, which is a godlike build. Unlucky because the cleaver build is one of these builds where it's extremely, extremely powerful when you get the god build. So, obviously I would reroll the relics anyway. Like, I always roll the relics. I I mean, if, if if a new character comes along, I'm not going to roll the relics. Because, you know, I want to see how it feels normally. But uh, otherwise, I always roll the relics. Uh, especially when half the relics are complete trash. Now, in this specific example, maybe I should not have re-rolled the relics, okay? Maybe I should have gone with Windmill, because Windmill is very powerful and uh, also useful for this specific build. But in general, I don't know why I'm still explaining myself, man. I don't know. I, I have this... I have this bad habit of all the time explaining myself. Oi, 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 oi. Ah, let's see what you give us. Spikes build and uh, warrior spellbook. Both of these are trash. I'm gonna take five damage for the spellbook. Thank you very much. Now, I want to mention something. I forgot on the healer that I wanted to get max uh, the healing and I went for max health, I think. <laughs> Whoopsie. That's on my, <laughs> that's my bad. Classic Sift fashion. Now, the main question that everybody should have in their mind is the following. Is the final boss be, gonna be the king and are we gonna die from him? I think yes. I think the final boss gonna be the king and we're gonna die. Because that's how hubris works, man. That's how hubris works. You try to min-max up to the highest amount possible. Well, guess what? You're gonna get destroyed. Oh, we found a legendary to sell. Very nice. Uh, when I say to sell, I mean to use for damage. <laughs> Do you think I forgot that the night shield actually works on more than one item? I can have like a look at this. Kaboom! And I almost died. Uh well, damage. Damage. And please one sh I made a huge mistake. I made a huge mistake. Do you remember when I was talking about hubris? Yeah, this is the point where hubris actually comes into play. 30 damage. 
and a smack. Nice. Give me a sec. There is a phone happening right this moment. Okay, I'm back. Let us go. Ah, the phone call was pretty quick, actually. Other things happened after that. Let's uh, let's see how this is gonna go. In general, I think I need to get the um, what is it called? What is it called? The thing that I need to get. I need to get the the candle. The candle. I mean, literally, the fight we just did showcased that the candle is a must. Otherwise, we will die on the spot the moment we get to the king. Uh, why do I have this here and this there? Two block. Ooh, big difference. <laughs> Mm, I'm really thinking about starting throwing things away just to get my lucky rings going and you know more uh, more luck to us because these are rares and theoretically like, I want to get the cleavers but um, let's just go to Ripsk oh Ripsecution is gonna kill us oof um oof um oof we're dead we're dead or 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 I'm gonna disconnect this so that this thing hits only this guy let's see how this is gonna go Aha! Sift style! Trust the system! 19 damage. Bye bye, Rebsecutioner. Bye bye! Get destroyed. Okay, let's swap this back. <laughs> we found healing. I think the time has come to throw away the two block. I mean, that's a joke. Let's get the healing. Now we can switch this back. Now this gives four block. Ooh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's it pretty much. Let's see what we find. Same item. Different item, same rarity. Pretty trash. Badger, badger against Living Shadow. Living Shadow is a, should be an easy fight. Yeah, okay. We do about 50 damage turn one. Obviously, our damage gets downscaled every round. <laughs> Cleaver. Cleaver. Ding, 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 ding. Jackpot. You know what? Let's throw away the leather boots. Let's get the cleaver in its place. In its rightful place. And when I say let's get rid of them, I, I lied. I lied. So now if I use the king, it get, hits this. This hits this. This hits that. Ooh, my damage just got insanely... Insanely higher. Why does this guy give you a potion and then literally damage you for that one potion he gives you? Smack. 28 defense. So after this uh, loop, as I said, ooh, another cleaver, let's go. Okay, now this has to go. Let's go here. Actually, let's go here. Actually, let's go here. Yeah, now this hits more things. Yeah, six, four, six. Yeah, okay, nice. Uh, let's go on. Let's go on. I'm super happy about what's happening. We got the actual cleaver run going, without even cheating. <laughs> what? I'm cheating? What? <laughs> I mean, without uh, using anything other than a re-rolling relic right now. Why did I go to this event twice? And why do I talk to them? Like, I always do the same mistake. I talk to them. I guess it's from my real life. Let's hope we're not fighting something that has spikes. Badger boss does not have spikes. Okay, that was lucky. We could have, like, died on the spot, by the way. Okay, let's go. I should have also done this. Now I'm healed. Okay, now I obviously want the candle. So I'm gonna force a candle pick up. No matter what. Because I don't wanna die from the king. I mean, this is extremely stupid to die from the king. Here we go. Three spaces. I would say let's go here, here, and here. Just to have this down. So <laughs> this, sounds, this seems so stupid. Uh, I guess these three. Although the thing is that I need room for this area. Let's go with this. Let's, uh, let's start setting up room here. I found the candle without even using anything Woo let's go luck as luck would have it connected weapons here you go 20 money from the legendary and off we go connected weapons connected weapons i don't know why i'm um singing like crazy no reason there okay let's get rid of oh i'm even using the fish sword. that's how far ahead i am without even thinking about it by the way this thing should do almost no damage right now the, the, the sound effects is always getting destroyed, you know? Classic game. Uh, okay, there is no shop. Forget this thing. Let's get the health. <laughs> Let's also get the damage to everybody. Fire Gekko, double fire Gekko fight. Okay, we're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go... Everything's dead. This is gonna give us a curse that's gonna be relevant. Oh, a relevant curse actually achieved. People have been telling me to do a cursed run. Ooh. Okay, you're out. You're in. <laughs> I mean, I don't care about life anymore. HP is what I meant. I don't care about HP anymore. 7 block against 8 block. You know what? The Night Shield providing the passive block to things around it is completely irrelevant to us. I just want more block when I press the block. <laughs> as if the game knew. As if the game knew. Although I should have kept this there in case I found like a better 
Thing. Yeah, may maybe, just maybe I should have thought about it for at least one second before I put it on this. Imagine if I get now a Pavis. Okay, maybe not. But imagine if I got a Pavis somewhere around there. Let's go with double regen. That's going to heal us a bit. Especially against this fight. Here we go. Regen, regen. And then we're going to go rope. Actually, this guy isn't even damaging us. So we're going to go rope, rope. Nice. And I'm going to heal this turn. And the next. Yeah, and the next. So I can pass here, take the curse, which is going to be completely relevant. Heal even more. Now this curse goes away when I press it, and we won. Easy enough. He this is region, right? Region, haste, and energy. And this is a leather cap, which is defense. And defense is defense. And defense is nice. But forget it. Just forget it. I don't care about defense. I'm in attack only. Let's go max health. Was there a key that I missed? Most likely, yes. I realize that I'm pretty blind to stuff like that. And also pretty forgetful. And also pretty... Pretty? What did you think I was going to say? <laughs> I'm ready, yeah. <laughs> or maybe I'm not. Who knows? Not you guys. Not you guys. Let's go on. Rup, rup, rup. I mean, prettiness is very... Uh, what is it called? Actually, give me the lucky ring in this. Pr prettiness is very subjective. Although there has to be... There is definitely... Um, objective prettiness, I think. I mean, I say definitely, but when I say definitely, I don't actually mean definitely. Let's go with money. Yep, pretty much. Let's go here. Blah, blah, blah. Here, legendary. Take it. Off we go. Ooh, then a shot. Whoop. Whoop. How didn't we get a curse right away? And this is the weapon that people want me to go curses for. Ooh, jackpot. Jackpot. Let's go. Okay, and my last guess is here. And this is the weapon. Uh, for each adjacent or diagonal curse, this gets plus 6 damage. Well, this is very mediocre from when they nerfed the easiest curse that you can get. We get the jackpot, which says when armor shield is present. Well, look at this. We got the jackpot of ding, 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 17 coins. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to throw away the armor. And in general, not the armor shield thing. Now, as I said, people have been telling me to now try to... I mean, people, I think, suggested, or at least they said that they want to see the god builds. Uh, the god builds obviously being... You know what? Let's go here, I would say. The god builds obviously are, you know, when you achieve the unthinkable... No. <laughs> when you get the items you want, right? When you get the best possible items for a specific build, that is pretty much the god build. And uh, I asked last time, last run... If people want me to use the mod that allows me to get whatever item I want after I beat the game once and get it to Endless. Because as far as I know, I might be the only one that plays Endless mode uh, from the content creators of this game. So yeah, why not push our luck even more? By the way, this does not really fit anywhere right now, but we are going to keep it. Let's keep everything. Let's go on. So yeah, I was thinking about this. Maybe, maybe I should do that. Maybe I should start, you know using my modded powers to just get the god builds because at the end of the day one of the two things is gonna happen either i'm gonna die somewhere along the way of endless mode or uh, or i'm gonna die somewhere along the way of endless mode so if you think about it both of these things are not actually something fun most of the time and i think it's more fun to do the following every time i'm gonna beat the normal mode i'm instantly gonna pause the video uh mod into the best possible build with the specific build we're going for and uh then i'm gonna just do one run through the non-endless mode what i'm gonna do one run through endless mode just to showcase the power level of what you just built what we just built let's lose 10 life who cares aren't just want also who cares let's just go uh, let's go beat the final boss here, and uh, then we're gonna do what I just mentioned. I'm gonna get the god build going, and the thing is, because the god build, obviously, most of the time, uh, Grandmaster, easy fight, because the god build most of the time is gonna destroy pretty much everything, I think uh, it's fair to just do the god build run just for one endless, right? So, the choices were either to not use the mods and just see how far I can get with the specific build I have without trying to do something godlike, or the alternative, which is what we're gonna do today, is that I am gonna get the god run just to showcase how much power this build could have gotten if I got everything to line up the most perfect way possible. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do like one run with it. It's gonna last like another 10 minutes on top of whatever the run already lasts. And then I'm most likely gonna end the video there. 
Uh, the King Cleaver does nothing, and this thing also does nothing, but the rest still do. Okay, I my damage is reduced by an immense amount. This also does nothing. Okay, we only got a couple of cleavers that do stuff. And that's really not good. Is this rage? Ah, oh, man, rage. Uh, the, the joke being that rage is not really anything we actually care about, as we do remove pretty much everything. Okay, I need to kill this guy right now. Okay, we're doing almost no damage right now. <laughs> Almost no damage, almost no damage. 21 shield on everybody, are you crazy? Chill dude, I have 50 flame. And we won, and we won. And now we go into endless. So today, as I said, I'm gonna do what I mentioned. Let's give me the energy. <laughs> I'm also gonna get the spikes most likely. I mean, I'm not gonna get the spikes. Uh, yeah, let's go. Continue in endless mode, exactly. Okay, and here I'm gonna pause and get the best possible inventory with the idea being cleavers. Right, the, because the idea is actually cleavers today. Uh, I'm gonna keep the Lizard King Sword because uh, I don't know. Am I? You know what? Let me actually just showcase what cleavers would look like if they were the most busted thing in the universe. Uh, actually, not the most busted thing. I'm just gonna remove things that do not fit. Okay, I'm not gonna do the God of the God builds because at that point I'm just burning out myself for no reason. I'm just gonna remove this, 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 and this. Um, at this point, also this. I will keep the main crux of the build. These go. Okay, this is the main crux of the build, and I'm gonna fill it up with cleavers, maybe another lizard sword king. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna think about it on my own time. So give me a sec to come right back up. Okay, and here I am back. So as I said, I did not actually uh, remove any of the items that had to do with the build. I just added items on top of what we already had. So I added a belt of knives because it's really good with what we're having. You know, weapon on this row, uh, they, they all get plus three damage. And I also added the stopwatch because uh, this is going to make them all scale really quickly. As you see, I still have kept the normal cleavers, although I could have gone with non-normal cleavers if I wanted to. Uh, this is a bad choice here. Uh, I need to swap these. Yep, okay. So, theoretically, what is going to happen here now is that the Slat Shield... First of all, I also kept the Lizard King Sword. Uh, so there, And I also added, like, two or three King Cleavers. That's what I did. I added two or three King Cleavers don't, and the three Duct Tapes, obviously, because that is the God item in this build. And then I also kept the Lizard King Sword, etc. So, what I have done here is what should happen is when I press the Slat Shield, it hits the Lizard King Sword, but we don't care about that. <laughs> It also hits the King Cleaver. This King Cleaver hits uh, this King Cleaver and this Cleaver. But the most important part is that this King Cleaver hits the duct tape. And then this duct tape hits everything that is connected to them. As you can see here, do you see what blinks up when I do this? Yeah, these are the things that are going to get activated. And because these things activate this, this activates this Queen Cleaver. And which this Queen Cleaver get, hits back. Because as you see, the Queen do you see what Queen Cleaver activates? This Cleaver activates the same. This here hits those. Why does this Queen Cleaver activate uh, this? Oh, it's it's this thing. It's the Belt of Knives that does that. So as you see here, this is what it activates. This activates those. This activates those. So everything chains into each other. And everything also gets buffed because uh, all of these are considered adjacent. So when I attack once, all of these attack at the same time. This is pretty much the crux of the Infinite Cleaver build. And uh, now we're going to be completely busted. Like nothing is going to literally survive. And all of my attacks are going to be like, oh, 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 trying to attack a million times. And this is how it's gonna go. Like, literally, I go into a fight, boom, it dies. I go into a fight, boom, and they die. Uh, two spaces. I mean, <laughs> at this point, it doesn't really matter. Here, might as well do this and push this out. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Uh, yeah, nothing really matters. Here, get the energy and have it as a, as a spot for curses. I don't even know. I don't need to fight anything anymore. I'm just gonna rush into the final boss. I don't know why I, I went over here. So let's just blast through and just destroy the final boss real quick. Our damage right now is not even calculatable. Like, I definitely do more damage than what you might think that I do. Like, that's guaranteed. Okay, I don't need the melee anymore. If I put this here, boom, it hits all of them. So all of these now get plus four damage. Do you know what I actually... I You know, you know what? You know what? I, I forgot to add something to this whole thing. I forgot to add something to this whole thing. So uh, let me add one last thing, which I completely forgot. Which is uh, something like this. Is this how it's called? Or something like just Chef? Yeah, just Chef. I forgot this. 50% bonus damage on the cleavers. <laughs> let's take this away uh, let's flip this here and this here and here goes the hat boom and now because this hits the duct tape this by the way says that helmets to the right are disabled who cares cleavers below get 50% bonus damage and when we say below it goes whoop, boom hits the duct tape and then the duct tape spreads it out so as you see this buffs a lot of things 
right? So yeah, there's that. And uh, let's go. Once again, I can obviously min-max even further, but I don't need to. Okay, that, that's the whole idea here. I don't, I don't need to min-max even further. I just want to showcase uh, how much more powerful this becomes with only three more duct tapes. Even if I went with two more duct tapes instead of three, it would be the same effect. Like everything gets one shot. Nothing really matters. Now, about this specific build, I want to mention something. I was thinking about doing an infinite run with this, but not with the cleaver build, with the assassin's dagger build. Give me a second, I want to go to the event. So, yeah, I don't know. Do you guys want to see that? I was I was thinking about doing like a 50k subscriber special or something. Uh, although, once again, not exactly sure if I want to actually do it. But uh, I was thinking about it. Like, I was thinking, what should I do for the 50k subscriber special or something? And at the end of the day, because I was, you know, in Holland and... Uh, chilling i didn't really you know had anything ready for the 50k and now it has been a bunch of days where the 50k have already been gone and done so i was thinking maybe i should do an infinite run on this thing but i will most likely do an assassin's dagger infinite run with i know you know duct tapes and all that jazz but um yeah i mean there's that I don't know. I would like to hear your opinions on this way of modding the game after Endless. Because in yesterday's video, I was asking people if they want me to do this. So today I'm doing this. And I want to see if people actually still agree now that they're seeing how I'm doing it. Now, as I said, the idea was that I'm going to showcase the most perfect build of what I'm already having. That's why I'm trying to... Ooh, we found the Black Mastodon. Uh, <laughs> any new item, I'm going to be... Ooh, we found a new thing. So, yeah. Uh, I, I decided to go with this, the middle path. So, as I said, we only get the relics that are actually relevant. We only... This this is completely useless. Let's go healing. Um, oh, wait a minute. Why are you healing when you can go cleaver? Ah, ha, ha, ha. This thing is going to hit the cleaver. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> the power level scales even further. I mean, I could throw away the piggy bank, honestly speaking. I like how the sound effects are completely busted and bugged. Yep, completely busted and bugged sound effects. I like how there is like a light show happening with the cleavers. <laughs> He must be like, doo -doo 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 I don't need money anymore. Let's go health. Give me a cleaver. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I'm always uh, preloading the happiness about whatever I gain, even if the thing I gain is not actually the thing I want to get. Let's go destroy the Ferret King, which, uh, well, you do not create spikes, you're dead. Do I do 1,400? Yes, I do more than 1,400 damage. As you realize, nothing is going to survive. Um, let's get the bombs and lose. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to take the bomb and lose the moment... Wait a minute, can I have this here? Is this activated? Oh, it is activated. Nice. I can have it there. Nice. So, yeah. The moment... I'm, I'm going to destroy this run, okay? I I'm going to have fun. And I think we're going to, from here on out, always destroy the runs. Like, if I'm going to do this... If I'm gonna do this um, most uh, powerful version of the current run, obviously, as I said, right now, it's very obvious that this is completely busted and uh, it's a joke, right? I'm destroying everything, everything. Oi, 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 So, obviously, right now, it's completely busted, but it, it's it's a bit of an unlucky point, right? If you're like, yo, Sift, no, don't, 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 please, please, please don't break the game up to this point. Like, it's no longer fun to watch you destroy everything, although I believe it's fun. I do enjoy the infinite damage! 120 damage, let's go! Infinite damage! More than that! How much damage does this cleaver do? Look at this, 374, 374, 474, 444. So, as you see, it is fun to be completely busted. At least I'm, I'm finding it fun. Like, 556. Why does this only have 56? Anyway, um, so yeah, I, I do enjoy that. Like, I do enjoy being busted a lot, and it's fun. It's a bit unlucky, just a bit unlucky, that the first run I'm doing with this is a cleaver run. Because cleavers is the one thing that if you can easily break it, and you easily get an infinite with it. Uh, well, wasn't this a trash event? You know what, let's just not go there. It should stop saying a question mark unknown event. It should start saying the Fisher event or something like that. So you can easily differentiate them. Yeah, 1,400 life, bye-bye. <laughs> Their life goes like a boom, a zoom. <laughs> Let's see how much life the, the king has a 15k... Wait. Okay, I thought I found an archangel armor. The king has 50k life. Let's see if 50k... I mean, not 15k life. So let's see if 15k is gonna be enough. All of these are useless. Uh, let's continue onward. Purple slime. See you along there. Uh, let's go again. <laughs> Again, again, 400 damage, 460 something, 560 something, 582. For some reason, when I do the last attack, can I take, I could take this and put it here, but we are going to keep the Lizard King swords. 
I'm not gonna abandon my ally. I don't remember. I, I have not gone to this event. I have gone to this event. Sift, bro, it's not hard to remember. When you see an event that is open, it means you have already gone to it. You don't need to go two times to it, bro. Sift, yo, wake up. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. So yeah, as I said, um, I'm not gonna take this as an example. I would, though, like to hear your opinions. Like, I, I think this is better. I think it's better in endless mode to just get the perfect run going and showcase the power of this madness. 6k Oh, he survived. He survived 5k damage. So I'm doing only 5k damage right now. Only, only, only 5k damage. If I had five more duct tapes and 10 more cleavers, I would be doing more. <laughs> so, yeah, as I said, uh, a bit unlucky that we got the most busted build in the game as our first run. But on the same, on the flip coin of that, it doesn't matter. Because it is the most busted run, tomorrow I'm also gonna do... Actually, tomorrow there might be a chance I'm gonna play the new character, so I'm not gonna use mods at all. But, um... Still, I, I was thinking about, uh, you know, doing this, showcasing more stuff, you know, because right now, yes, I am showcasing pretty much the most busted build in the game. But uh, sometimes yeah, I don't get the most busted build in the game, you know, and sometimes it's like, um, I don't know, you get a Lizard King Sword build with uh, with the Slash Shield. And you're like, you know what? You know what would be f Ooh, Assassin's Dagger's here. So, you know what would be fun? It would be fun if I had, um, I don't know, five of these, right? It would be completely busted. But imagine instead of having 50,000 cleavers, because this was a cleaver run, we had like 50,000 Lizard King Swords, everything surrounding the shield. And then we would... I mean, I can do so many fun and stupid things with this. It just happened that my first run is the cleaver run. I don't know why I'm why why I'm explaining myself. This is like a bad habit that I really 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 have to cut. I really need to start cutting this habit of um, talking about meta, like the meta discussion in general. Thinking about you know things that I could have done differently and talking about it in the stream because I'm doing it very often for a very long time. Like I might be speaking like I, I don't even know because I'm not keeping track of the minutes and seconds that I'm talking, but. Just by looking at the timer, I would assume that I'm talking about five minutes for this whole thing. Instead of being, instead of having fun. I don't know, man. I don't know. I get, I get so much, so much caught up into my own thought process that for some reason, instead of having fun, sometimes I'm just thinking that, oh, maybe people are going to be like, oh, see if this is cheating. Or maybe people are going to be like, oh, see if this isn't fun, blah, blah, blah. I'm getting stuck up on that, on these things so much. And I really need to stop doing that. I really need to stop having, start having more fun and just do whatever I want. And right now what I want to do is break the game a million different ways and have my fun time. And uh, yeah, when the new character comes along, we're going to stop using the mods. And there's that. I mean, it's as simple as that. If anything, uh, I, I think this is I think this is good. And we just arrived at the boss. So uh, is it the king? It is the king. Let's see if we can beat the king with this. Because there is a good chance we're gonna die. You know, there is a good chance we're gonna die. And if you're gonna die, then I'm even super proud. So what's gonna happen right now, because I want you guys to understand, is uh, that the candle is gonna disable his spikes but before that happens i will get hit by the spikes at least once okay at least once so that means that if i for example do a hundred uh, this is gonna give me 10 shield so i will have 13 shield so if i do 13 plus 95 attacks so if i do 108 attacks i will die like if this button press is 108 attacks i'm dead let's see how this is gonna go we're losing life. Look at this. We're dancing. We're dancing. We're we're tap dancing. We're tap dancing. Let's go. Hop 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 hop. Okay, tap dance has just now stopped. So he's attacking us for forty eight. That means I cannot not attack again. So I will have to attack again. And now we're dead. <laughs> Look at this busted build, but you do not avoid the spikes, man. Most busted build in the games. Well, guess what? Spike. You nobody avoids the spikes. Nobody avoids this. Oh, borderline survived. Let's go. Let's go. What time is it? It's 38 minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stick to my word. Let's go. I'm going to stick to my word for once. Sif, don't do it. Sif, don't do it. Sif, don't do it. I mean, the game just gave us... A you know what I should do? You know what I should do? I'm not going to bomb this. I'm not going <laughs> to... I think it's too late now. I think it's too late. I'm already committed. You know what I wanted to do? I wanted to say that from the final boss onward, the moment I find the bomb, I'm gonna pick it up and we lose the run. But I, I just got it. I think it's a bit too early to, to do that. You know what? Let's, let's rush, rush through. Rush through. And the moment I find the next bomb, 
the moment I f because I just made this like a rule and, and then on the spot it just happened to trigger so it's a bit eh. so uh, from here on out I, I solemnly swear that the first elite or boss that gives me a bomb I'm gonna just pick it up and lose the run okay from here on out it's it's my sworn duty to uphold the truth and all. I'm, I'm, I'm just not gonna continue the sentence because it isn't going anywhere it's just go <laughs> I don't know, sometimes I'm overdoing it with the bad jokes and uh, it feels like a bit disgenuine and whatnot. Come on, go through, let's go. People also have been telling me that this is not a fun run, the, the Cleaver run. Actually, no, people have been telling me that... Not that the Cleaver run isn't fun, but that the other run is more is better. <laughs> the... Um, give me this, by the way. The... what is it called, run? The Poison... Bl the Assassin's Dagger run is better than the Cleaver run. Let's safety first. Okay. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, let's go. Let's... Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go for. Let's go. I'm trying to fight as, as least fights as possible while also going through the events. Uh, but I started thinking I shouldn't even care about going through events. Let's get the rose. Let's get the rose just for fun. Hey, hey, I love you, bro. Here, take a rose. Let's go. Wee. <laughs> see what we get. Somebody told me that they don't know what this fight is. Let's yolo it. Travelers leave coins by the statue as a token of their prayers. You decided that Hannah won't miss such a few. Well, I guess uh, I guess we don't know what the fight is. Somebody told me that they don't know what that specific fight is, and I tried to showcase it, but it didn't happen. Not my fault. Not my fault. Let's go on here. I would enjoy finding a healer to heal us for 25. Yeah, because regen isn't cutting it. Uh, is this a Jack Cleaver? Wow, we found a Jack Cleaver. Okay, uh, well, you're out, you're in. As simple as that. In, in general, cleavers that hit something, you should always make them hit the middle. Never, ever, ever should you make cleavers not hit the middle. <laughs> we found healing. And just like that, we have one. Just like this. And now all of these are, are affected by gemstone healing. This cleaver is irrelevant at this point. I don't really need it. Here you can have it. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's over. <laughs> we won. The moment you find the gemstone heart for healing, like every single cleaver other than these two are not are healing us. So yeah, it's over. It's over. It's just over. I mean, look at this. The press this boom for life. Okay, and as I said, now the killing factor is the relics we're gonna find. The moment I find the bomb relic, it's over. I on I, I take it, we explode. Money, 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 money. I like how the healing effect sounds like money gain. Let's go onwards. Let's see vent. Come on, fight me. Travel. No, we're never gonna have to learn what the fight is. Uh, I would like to avoid, but whatever. Uh, you know what? Here we go. Let's go. Just speeding through. Speeding through. Coming through. Bye bye. Pew. Pew. Arrivederci. I don't need XP anyway. Although I'm missing a couple of levels. Ooh, another Jack Cleaver. Um, Cleaver, you're sold. Jack Cleaver joins. That just improves our DPS even further. Because the Jack Cleaver hits everything. Let's go. Is this gonna be the bomb? Is this gonna be the ticking bomb? Tick tock, tick tock. Let's see if we're gonna get it. You're dead, obviously. One shot. I, I was doing 5,000 damage previously, so it's definitely no difference now. Oh, and that's it. This is the end of the run. I told you, the moment I find it from the point I actually made the rule and later, I will stick to it. So I don't care. And now you're gonna see a big good all explosion and then we're gonna end the run after that. Armadillo and Crossbow Man. Who of the two should die? Let's kill the Armadillo. Let's go. Boom! It was fun. It was fun. It was fun while it lasted. And at this point, can I out-defend them? How many turns will I survive? I like how the music picks up. These guys cannot outscale me. These guys cannot outscale me. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Kaboom! Yeah, that's what that was that. And now I'm that was a trap! It was a trap! <laughs> I have been bamboozled. I shield a bunch of times. Oh healing! Useless. Can I even do this? Can I even do this? I think there is no point in continuing this. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the run. I definitely liked the run. It was fun. And I think this rule with the bomb is the best one. Okay, so from here on out, that's what we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna do the following. At least until people get tired of it or if they completely disagree. People being you, by the way. So your opinion matters. You have to comment down below if you want to see this idea. So my idea is the following. 
I do the normal run normally without cheating at all other than picking up relics that I want because I was doing that anyway like mods or not I was always picking the relics that I wanted because I find it extremely stupid when you're like okay I need the flamed I I, I need the cleansing flame otherwise we will die okay that, that's that's always very stupid to me like um, you you have to get the cleansing flame if you're not ranged arrow so I'm gonna stick to still starting with the relics of my choice okay that's the first thing I'm gonna do and then the second thing I'm gonna do is that after I beat the boss and enter endless mode where at that point it doesn't even matter anymore because we have already won the game so it's endless mode only to see what happens then i'm gonna try to min max the build but without throwing away things that are relevant right for example i had uh, three or four uh, gray cleavers right normally i could be like you know what i'm gonna just throw away the gray cleavers and get the king cleavers but no i said okay things that are relevant to the build are gonna stay to the build like the cleavers the the, the whatever this thing you know this was part of the build so i, I kept it uh, also the lizard king sword for example i could have thrown it away but no i said it was part of the build it was part of the run i'm gonna keep it but other things like spiky helmets and i, I don't know what we're gonna throw them away we, we will pick things that are based on what build we're going for and then, after I do the first endless loop, after that, the moment I find the bomb stone, I will have to pick it up, and then obviously the run ends there. So that's my opinion on what I want to do. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think the time has come to end this video, by the way. Like, uh, my, my haste is no longer going down. These guys are trying to outscale us. Uh, I don't think they will ever be able to. By the way, this whole defense this defense i get is only from two items archangel armor and the chef's hat like literally two items give me 102 defense it's so fun anyway these guys are gonna outscale us at some point so uh, until these guys outscale us i'm gonna just continue here talking to you guys and telling you that thanks for being here thanks for all the patreon supporters always supporting me and helping me out and also thanks for all the membership supporters because that's also helping out honestly speaking and if you want to help me out without paying a dime by the way member supporters is like 99 cents so just if you want you know some emojis and some priority in me reading your comments then maybe you can do that anyway i'm not forcing anybody to do anything so once again thanks for all the support if you drop a like it's the simplest thing you can do that doesn't even cost a dime and um yeah i think that's it pretty much so i hope you guys enjoy the run i am eager to read your comments about those two or three things i mentioned that i want to hear some opinions on and uh, i think the run is gonna end uh, in about two or three attacks here they are slowly closing into me right now i have 18 armor per round pretty much and now i'm gonna have even less oh 29 what are you guys doing yo guys scale better please scale better please <laughs> as you see this became completely out of hand <laughs> This uh, this is completely out of hand at this point, and uh, I can't even lose from these guys. <laughs> I cannot lose at all, I guess. They are slowly scaling, man. They are slowly scaling. It's a bit insane to me that the enemies scale this much, like 112 and 103 damage. But it is what it is. I think these guys are not good enough to be able to defeat me. Man, you, you guys Gucci, you guys like Gucci, I can kill the run on my own if you want, like, if, if you guys don't know how to do it. Um, you know what, you know what, I'm gonna do it the, the awesome way, let me take the patrons away from here. You know what the awesome way is? You guys are useless, I'm throwing my hat away. I cannot, I can I, I cannot work in this, uh, in this environment anymore. I, I mean, I don't have even my own uh, kitchen uh, table stuff, <laughs> so we threw everything out. Anyway, that is going to be it for today, so once again, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.